Generic greetings and welcome back to Bacastle where in the previous episode we started our little empire and managed to get the main castle, some buildings, walls, etc. And overall I think we got to a fairly decent uh, stage. I'm also now maxed out on wood again so let me go ahead and build some more wall. In this episode we want to continue on and see uh, where we can get to in terms of our resource production and hopefully just survive. In terms of uh, said production, we have positive sunstone, uh, neutral food actually. So what I'm going to do is increase the amount of workers that we have and I will probably assign you to that job. There we go. And this will allow us to uh, hopefully get positive results there. And wood again is... I think we need some more... I think we need a storehouse. I think a storehouse is going to be of some benefit. So this will be in general. We have a warehouse, so a safe storage for stone and wood. We'll place this we can place it anywhere we want, but I'm just thinking out of the way where it's not going to destroy any trees, so they'll be quite good because there's a lot of trees around there. Um, and what else do we what else do we not have? We don't have a church. I'm thinking of building a church and I'll place it in... I mean here's not too bad. Let's just place it there. No, actually. Don't want to place it there. I think it would be best in that corner there. That'd be quite nice, and probably another tavern. But I don't know where I want to put the tavern. Further away from the, I guess, away from the other tavern is the natural choice, isn't it? Put a tavern in the middle of here because oh, we're going to get some more housing. Because we're currently on twenty-one of twenty-one populations, so we need more pop. I also need some more some more wood as well but we can store now because of this up to 1500 uh, a worker fails to reach a workplace well who's that then uh, mood is too low yes and a worker fails to reach a workplace is it this worker here it's a lumberjack are they stuck yeah they seem to be stuck okay that's curious. I'm going to assign them to something else. Just to see if then reassigning these people will help. Yeah, it seems to have fixed the problem. It's an early access game. Okay, so the church is now built and we don't have anyone sadly to occupy it, but I do want to build some more housing. So we'll build these similar to how we built the other ones. I'll just sort of put them in a line. Maybe back here would be better. Like that. Yeah, we'll do that. So, one there. And then one there. And that should do us quite nicely. We can upgrade the walls as well with either change the wall side, upgrade a stone wall, or make double sided. Oh, okay. I did not know about the double sided wall. That's pretty good. I'm going to bring our arches over here. In fact, all arches will go there. And these guys, we'll just put them. Well, they can only go. They can only when we're going to attack from, come up here or here. So we'll just keep an eye on where the enemy forces are coming and uh, we'll move things around as per. So we're now on positive mood again, which is excellent. So we are getting more people. That's because of the tavern there. But I will assign someone to the church because the church does not, as far as I'm aware, provide a uh, happiness bonus. doesn't say anything, but it does resurrect units. So we are resurrecting units. So actually... Um, in some senses, the the units, like these units here, these are an unlimited resource because you just get them back, <laughs> which is a bit uh, strange to say, but there you are. You just get them back. Now, let me place a... I think we will place a, a fountain there. I know it's going to delete some of that, actually. Yeah, that's fine. There it is. I was going to rotate it around, then I realised that the fountain is um, it, it's circular in it. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> sunstone is fine. Food is okay. And then we're getting good wood uh, across the way. Let's just extend to this area. And then I'm probably going to build around, although I do want to get another tower, which will go in there. So then we can defend that side. And let's go ahead and build some more wooden walls. There's, looks to be some more animals down there. Yeah, so that's fine. What have we got then? We've got farm, 
That's to be fair. This area here would be good, a good place for like a hunter's, like a hunter's cottage or something. But food are on five per time. Um, I'll, I will capture that, but I'm not going to defend it. It's going to be like an outpost. And where is it? It is a hunter's hut, which I'll place. Doesn't really matter where we place it. See, ideally. place as close to the walls as possible. That's fine. There, yeah. And I'm not going to build an entrance there. They'll just have to come out here and go around if need be. 162 wood. Not enough to build around here. And night time again. So where they're attacking from? They're attacking from the south. So I keep on pressing space to pause the game. But uh, that doesn't happen. Anyway, you can see they are attacking up this hill. Up an embankment. So we have the high ground DLC installed, which is good. And they are getting minced. Obviously, if we lose any units, it doesn't really matter as long as we win the fight overall, because we get our units back. And that's going to be pretty much it, I think. No drama. No big issues. And there we are. Just having a quick look around to see where the next blue marker is. Ah, it's that tower over there. Okay, so we'll get these guys and bring them to here for now. And I will assign... What do I need? Do we need more more wood? I'll assign, more, I'll assign another person to the church for a start off. And another person to the tavern to increase our happiness. And we'll also need some more... No, you can't set a waypoint, sadly, for the church. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna that built now. The hunter's hut is almost built. Once it is built, the worker that's there, I will assign to work on that. There we are. So I'm gonna select some people to go up the some some of these arches. Tell them to work, go up the top there. And then you can see these guys. They're just being they're just getting rezzed. So yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I'll put these on the walls, and I'll put some of these guys on the walls as well. And I'll have like a a roaming contingent. Excellent. All right. Um, what more do we need? We've got people assigned to that. We've got oh loads of wood. Let's continue on with the building of the walls. So we'll go for wooden wall. See the exp it's very expensive, and it does it does change based on the size of the wall, which I'm quite pleased about. Um, more housing then is required. I'm just going to rotate this round and I'll put that house there and I'll continue on with the housing project leaving enough space for people to walk past you understand. There we are. And that should be quite nice. I don't think the tower is going to go in there so although we'll see because if they're going to attack this place they will have to attack for our, they'll have to attack through this I would imagine. Unless they bring like siege engines in which case I am um, absolutely screwed if that <laughs> if that happens. Anyway, there is. Hmm, these are not getting built. Not not enough builders. No, there is not enough builders. I will remove a guy from that tavern, and they will go ahead and basically start building things. Yeah, it's exactly what they're doing. Um, okay. I will then I will remove someone from that farm. I just want some workers. We have special resources. We have milk, deer leather and flour which is used for trading which I've not yet done so we shall see. I guess you could also remove both of these workers from the from the church. There's no reason not to at this stage. They've rezzed so yeah that's it. We have a market here. Trade among solar folks replenishes the royal treasury and improves mood. So when we place one we have this oh Okay, not very good then. We have this thing around where if they are, if people are trading on it, they gain a bonus in happiness. I guess I'll place one and try it. That wall's built, which is good. Um, all these houses are getting built, which is also pretty nice. Happiness is still positive. Do need to train more archers for the tutorial, but we'll see how we get on with that. Probably need some more stone, but we're mainly focusing on timber, so it's not strictly necessary. 
and you can see our maximum population is increasing. Uh, four minutes left until we until we get attacked again. So I'll assign people back on the tavern, people back on the field, and then I also need to assign someone to this market here, but that should hopefully increase things there. I'm also going to build, because of our, popula our food going up, I'm going to build a barn, which is food is stored here in perfect conditions, and obviously I will store that inside. I'll place the barn... I guess I mean I could place it realistically anywhere, but we want it close to food. So we've got food there, food there, and food at the top. So yeah, maybe in here is not a terrible idea. But then again, this is <laughs> if something go horribly wrong and then, you know, you learn something. You don't know until you know, and we're trying to find out. In terms of our decorations, what we don't have, we've got things like bushes and shrubberies, other things like that. Scarecrows, statues, I mean, we could place, we've got a statue there, we've got a couple of fountains and stuff, so I don't think we need more. Um, we don't have a treasury, which is safe. Sunstone storage. Taxes can be assigned here. Gives income for each production building, but lowers happiness. So I don't really want one of those for the time being. I'm not really running out of sunstone, but I'm going to say let's train up six more troops there. And we'll crack on with building. I'll just read the tower, actually. The tower makes it possible for archers to shoot further whilst providing additional protection. There is also a ramp that allows warriors to gain access to walls, so we knew that. And the stone tower, it says the same thing. So it's just, yeah, a stone tower. And you've got a stone wall there. Let's continue on with building. And this back here, this is this this is just, just says provides wood. There's, there's nothing much else that it does. Um, so yeah, I don't know really where to, ex I don't know where to extend to actually. Do I want to go around here? And then around there, knowing that the only possible places that can attack, why is it, why is it very stuttery there? that can attack from down here, but we've got a tower. This area is fairly flat, but this is wall. So you've got all of this wall here that they can't physically get up to. Naturally, if they have any ranged units, then that's a problem. But all of this is very defensible. So we'll defend up to here. We won't encircle this. We'll go around like that. So there'll be an entrance there, an entrance there. Yeah, that's, that's probably what we'll do. It's most likely what we'll do. Um, 450. Yeah, we'll defend that corner. And then that could be another farm. But we've got positive food, positive everything, really. Let's see if I'm, even, I'm even tempted to start to upgrade things. There's more archers there, so I'm going to bring those along. Oh, you can see that? They can't. I don't think they can get up there. No, they can't. Right, so I probably want another tower there. Or a ramp. I think, quite frankly, just another tower. Allows them to go up and round. Place towers on most corners. It's 300, to be fair. Uh, I'm going to build a siege workshop. This is... Then, well, it will then give us the ability to make siege engines, which we can then put on, like, these things here. I'm going to go for trebuchet, most likely. Ballista will be a single arrow that does huge damage to one target, whereas a... Uh, Oh, we're on sunstone, we're on negative sunstone now. Uh, yeah, where is a... Catapult? Uh, um, trebuchet, rather. Will be good for splash damage. I assume. I assume. Uh, let's... We need more sunstone. The sunstone back there. And the sunstone over here. And that's it. Anyway, uh, that's not really a big concern yet. Let's see what we're getting attacked with. Oh, hang on. They have brought reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived. They have archers. And they have a ram. Oh, they've brought a ram, have they? Right, well, I don't know where they're going with it. Just keeping an eye on their movements. I'm going to put all these guys on the wall, up there. Oh, can they not do that? Oh no, they're going to have to go out and round. Right, you know what I'm going to do? going to get a standing army to engage them. Because then hopefully, they'll turn around. 
Come on. Right, some of them, yeah, they have to start to turn around. Okay. Where are the other archers? They're coming along the walls now. Aim in here. Those guys, I don't even think, no, we can bring them over here. I told them to move, but they're not doing it. Oh, there we go, they're slowly, they're slowly cracking on. Um, okay, just trading away with archers here. And I just need to bring these guys further along the wall. There you go. Yeah. I think for this wall, certainly we'll put one of the... Well, we're going to put towers in the corners, so that should be fine. The ram is coming along. Oh, there's actually people right at the back there. I didn't realise. They're attacking our sawmill. Interesting. We might lose a sawmill here. Yep, sawmill is, I think, going to be lost. Our army is following up behind, so I'm not too concerned. You see, shots are whizzing out from all of the archers on the wall there. And I don't know where they're bringing this thing. They're bringing it, I guess, to our castle. Oh, they were just about to hit the church, but it looks like we've dealt with that. Okay, that was a bit more dicey than I expected. But, we have survived. So I'll rally these guys back up. Um, the next attack will take place oh, in the completely open area brilliant anyway let's go ahead and add in for resources a sawmill because obviously we've just lost a sawmill uh, if i can find it can't see the wood for trees ignore the pun um we'll place it there i will also build because i haven't got one yet a builder's guild which we'll place in well, i like the idea of it being more near the center we'll place it there and we'll assign, obviously, a couple of these workers to the church. I'm going to assign a couple of people to the siege workshop as well. And then I'll hire more people. Ah, ah, problem, 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 problem. Um, I'm on, I am, I am on plus resources. That's fine. I thought it was on negative resources for Sunstone. We're not on negative, but we will be soon. Anyway, you can see people are getting rezzed. I'll assign them to this builder's guild, which I think they go around and repair. And military-wise, one corner, and then I'll place one on the other corner, and then I'll continue on with the walls. So we've had yet more stuff. Oh, what's this? Person can't... what? The workers fail to reach this, so if I just remove them from it... Let's just assign them to it again. Done. And we're on negative sunstone. And that building needs workers. Yes, they do. One, and then two. So we need more sunstone, and I think the best way to do it is just to get that, capture that, and then go for, like, rebuilds in the daytime. I can't assign more workers to this sunstone, work uh, sunstone workshop. It's not going to happen. Looks like all the resing has occurred, so I will take the people off that. And building needs a worker. Yeah, that one. Yes, I'm aware. I'd say not enough builders. I'm fairly confident we have enough builders. Um, let's go ahead and see resources. And a sunstone workshop is 300, but it was several to build that, sadly. Not enough builders. That's not getting built at all, is it? If I dismantle that, are we going to get a builder go over there? It's a resident. Yeah, I think it's because I couldn't, I couldn't get to that because of that wall, which is a shame. But Sunstone Workshop, um, right there. It's closest to the <laughs> closest to the centre as possible. Food is uh, we're on plus five, so I think it would be a decent thing to increase our hunter's hut. Done the same for the field and done the same for the farm. We also have the uh, thing up here as well that we can probably capture. Oh, this is almost built now by the look of it. And then I will place a wall around the outside. I'm concerned though whether or not they can get in that because they couldn't build it. Could they? So is that a problem? We shall see. 
we shall see. The wall itself is 150 to even attempt it, but I think that's a little bit more for that one. But at least we've got another sunstone workshop there, which I will assign one, two, increase the size, and then a third person. So we now have a lot more sunstone now. That's really good. We have all of our units here as well. And hang on, where's the attack? It was over here, wasn't it? Has it shifted? It says it's there now. Curious. Curious. Yes, it seemed to have moved. Is it because I've... changed this wall? It could be. It could be. Hmm. Let's... I was gonna... Let's wait a little bit, actually. Because I want enough wood to finish this, which is 450, and then I want to build some more housing. Because, again, we're currently maxed out. Also, mood is not ideal. There's the wood wall. 450 required. We're on 421. 445. And there we go. There's that build. So, because I don't know where this attack's going to come from I'm gonna bring our army to the center of the center of this just so if it changes I can hopefully quickly um, alter things <laughs> you see they've just fired that's a good shot he's fired a bow up and over this wall and he's trying to shoot that deer there <laughs> that's really good looks like that wall on the left hand side is pretty much sorted which is good we'll build some more housing and we'll have it I don't know where we'll have this um, have one there for a start and then one right there as well I did say we could build around here that's nice there you go and you see it does alter the land and stuff it's pretty nice um, I think we'll have a, a statue. Maybe. Or do I want to just... Oh, actually, I'll just increase the size of the tavern. There you go. And sign two people to that. That should increase the mood. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, more beverages. <laughs> Plus ten. Okay, so apparently the tavern is the most important building in the game. <laughs> Eight out of ten alcoholics agree. Right, uh, how are we doing for food? Food is good, stone is good, wood, yen, sunstone, yeah, that's alright. We do need some more housing though, so I will place this... Well, where's the best place for it? I mean, we haven't really got much around here, and this is uh, a place for defence anyway, so... One, two, three... Trying to not cover that wall. There's a well in here as as well. Yep, that was said. Put it there. And fountain. There you go. Job done. Oh, look at that. Uh, we have more archers to train. So I've trained six archers. And I've just realised we can also do a trebuchet or a ballista. Throwing machine with area damage and a ballista. Shoots one enemy at a time with highly dangerous bolts. 300, 30 and 500. So I can make a trebuchet. I'm going to build a trebuchet. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'm building one. <laughs> um, you can see the ballista has a lot more range. I'll see in a minute. Food is good. Sunstone is very good, in fact. Stone is fine, but I would like to get some more. But we do have that over there. Right, let's go to a slower speed, and I can see where they're attacking from. Okay, they are attacking uh, this wall here, by the look of it. So, let's get these guys out. I'm going to get some archers. Ten archers up there. Oh yeah, there you are. But oh, they're actually coming to the right. By the look of it. 
They're splitting up, actually. They're splitting up. No, they're not. They're just going all over the place. Right, okay, fine. Um, we have our army here. We might as well just line the walls. If they're coming this way, just line the walls. Where are all the forces? I don't know, but those guys are getting absolutely plastered. But they have got... Oh, they've got a trebuchet! I thought it was just a... They've got a catapult. Yeah, it's not a trebuchet. I thought they simply had... Um, ram... ram uh, these rams here, but they don't. That's cool, though. Mining the walls, and... They're not lasting very long. <laughs> right, that's good. Looks like you can decrew them as well. So we've decrewed the ram. That's quite good. I said in the previous video, I'm very much getting stronghold vibes off the game, and that's a good thing. Um, I wonder what those guys are going to do now. Are they going to try and reach our forces? I don't know, but because of the arrangement. These guys can see internally down here. And there we go. So the ram is technically still in existence, but it's doing nothing. There we go. Attack over with. Building needs a worker. Almost certainly the church. Yes, it is. So I will get a resident and assign them to that. And let's see where the next attack is. It's not noted. Oh, it's that main wall there, is it? Okay, fine. Um, all these guys, then. I'll just say go there. I'll get some more in that corner to go... The swordsmen. Bring them down. Any, any swordsmen we don't want up there. Actually, where are our swordsmen? If we select all of those... Have we just got one swordsman left? We've got one swordsman there. I'm trying to find out where the swordsmen have gone. Oh, there we go. Ah, they were hiding in the trees. Fine. Is there an easy way to, to select them? Select army. Select free residence, but there you are. Um, you, work on that. Good. So, if they're attacking this then... I guess for this, add a trebuchet. Yeah, you can do it, but I just think I need to take these guys off the wall. Hang on. That corner also looks a bit risky. There we go. And we've now trained all of our archers as well. Cool. We will continue on with the building of walls because we have maxed out resources. Hmm. See, I was going to build... Oh yeah, building on there, that was correct. Yeah, that is correct. So one there, one there. I guess we don't particularly need to build this bit, but we'll do that. And then I need an entrance where... Which will be in... There, go on. That one would be better because it's easier to defend. Because then this tower you can shoot down to them if they're attacking that. But we're building there. We've made that decision now. And we now have a ballista. There it is. Trebuchet. Sorry. Uh, I assume it automatically fires. We don't need to alter that. So that's good. And we've got people defending all manner of places. I think we just need to keep building, isn't it? Just a case of keep building. And I'll put some like arches on the corners here. Um, I think just a couple of arches in corner pieces is good. That means that we can... Can I build another one of those trebuchets? Yeah, go on. Yeah, it means we can have any... If there's any loose groups, we can pick them up very quickly. Food is going down, so we do need to build another... Another food gathering place. Most likely, yeah, it's going to be these sheep here. So we'll go for uh, resources. And it would be a 
field. A farm, there it is, a farm. Requires 200 wood, which we are 20 short, sadly. There we go. And this thing is massive, so <laughs> I will... The tile, the tile itself is fairly small. Oh, that's problematic, isn't it? That's just going to interfere with everything. I guess that is the best orientation. I hope we can still get down that way, but we can only see. We can only find out by placing it. So we do have still people free. Um, do we need more stone? Or do we need more wood? What resource do we need most of? Or do you need more of, should I say? Uh, at this stage, it's wood, isn't it? We'll go for a sawmill. And I'll just place it back here, because there's stuff over there anyway. Oh, there's loads down here. So, sawmill go there. That's fine. Happiness, uh, mood, ooh, currently we're at 100%. But I think... Oh, the Builders Guild, we can assign more people to it. Um, place a market. Got a market there, but we haven't got a market around here. Don't know if it's necessary. The bonus is only 10%, and it's a very small area, so it, it seems to be a bit... It doesn't really seem to be that good, to be honest, the market. Yeah, I think I'm just not going to bother with it. I'm just build another... Just build a tavern. Preemptively build it up here because this is probably where we're going to have more housing. So I'll place that down. And we'll place some decoration there as well. Like that. Oh, there we go. We've got people to assign here. And. Oh, I haven't actually increased the size of these ones, so I could have done that anywhere. Right, that's going <laughs> to increase our wood gathering by a lot. Let's go ahead and add in some more defences here. It's really only this that's completely undefended. Just checking that that's yeah, it's still going to be the central section where we're going to get attacked from. Um, I want to add in... Where do I want another... Where do I want a ballista? I think that one needs to be a ballista. And that one needs to be an archer tower. So I'm going to bring those guys down. I'm actually moving. No, oh, there we go. I think I'm going to put them up top now. No, it's getting built. Range is good. Yeah, I can still hit that. Let's build more troops. There we go. And sign. More people to the tavern. I'm just going to cancel a couple of those. So that's now built. Those can go up there. And once they've cleared it out, that'll become a trebuchet. There we go. Let's see what that's like. <laughs> In terms of division of... Well, ass assigning uh, people to things, I'm really not too sure. Where we have to assign people to walls wise and what we have to do in terms of tower placement but it is what it is military more walls will that not fit in ah can't build one there that is in the way our warehouse is in the way so oh and not all those houses are too close as well okay I can't imagine it being a huge problem. But let's just get this placed. Yeah, so I mean that's... If I wanted to put the walls along there, I'll have to delete that storehouse and those houses. Storehouse isn't a problem because I've just used all of the resources that I would need. So I can get rid of that to gain some resources back. Oh, and that goes straight to night time. 
And let's see where the enemy forces are attacking from. Oh, they've just randomly appeared over there, have they? Good grief. All right, um, I guess let's take some guys from the wall and bring them down. Bring all these guys down. Look at that. They're just like swarmed in that side. Right. I wonder if it changed when I built those walls. Possibly. I didn't notice. But then again, I wasn't looking for it either. So our new trebuchets are not firing. Get all these guys attacking. And we are losing some forces. But we do have archers at the top on these walls. You can see all of the arrows sticking into the uh, into the fountain there. Yeah. And they are actually coming to the door. Look at that. They're going inside. So they're now on the walls. That's really cool that they can do that. I know a couple of people in the previous episodes um, comments on about it being like a bit like Kingdoms and Castles. It's got that vibe to it. And yeah, that's true enough. I guess it does. It does have that. It does have very similar things there. Oh, look at that. That guy's just hacking down our units. But I'm not... I'm not doing there. They're trying to shoot him. Oh, they're trying to shoot that one there. You can see as they're coming up through the bits here, they're... Let's get these archers round. Yeah, as they're trying to uh, get up, they're, they're getting attacked. But they're going to take control of that shortly. But I'm going to bring these archers down. Get a big flank on. And then... Oh, there we go. So I'm going to fight up to these walls now. So it is very dangerous, actually. If you have loads of archers on walls, that's all cool. But as soon as they take control of the tower... And, they, you know, they're just walking down. They're just hacking at these archers one at a time. And obviously because they're... I haven't in... I haven't put um, melee units in dispersed with these, so curious. That should be it, though. But I've lost a lot of units. General, my lord, we have many dead soldiers. You can resurrect them by building a church of light. Yes, yes, we can. Uh, and they're going to be very busy this morning. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, I think we will leave it there for now. That's been a bit more of Sieged. Very much enjoyed the building and getting all the way around here. I obviously want to continue on with the building of the walls, but it's going to take some time in order to get it all sorted, and we may have to move some of these as well. I also think I need to maybe get another church, because, well, naturally, we've lost a fair number of things here. Where is our next attack? It says this is this is going to be the next attack, but I don't know if it is. But let's continue rezzing. We'll continue building. And next episode, we will see what we face. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed the episode and for what it is the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.